Bharat Forge. The stock has hit a 52-week high. This on news that its indirect subsidiary in Hong Kong has shed its 51.85% stake in its Chinese joint venture for 175 crore rupees. Joining me now on the phone line to discuss that story is Amit Kalyani, Executive Director of Bharat Forge. Mr. Kalyani, always good talking to you. you know, first, uh, let me start you off by trying to get some perspective on what really the rationale behind this divestment is. Quite frankly, we've uh, told the market that we want to focus on profitable growth. And, you know, we work very hard at this for the last eight years. But, uh, you know, I think uh, we decided that uh, we could deploy our time, effort and resources in other areas where we are focusing on growing our business and achieve uh, good returns. And, you know, we had an amicable solution with our partner where they offered to buy us out at uh, pretty much the same value as what we put into the business. So I think it made sense for us. Sure. You know, if uh, you look at the financials really of this JV, the amount that you've in put into as far as the investment is concerned pretty much equals the divestment amount that you've put into the JV. Just run us through what the financial performance of the JV itself has been. 178 was our investment. 175 is what uh, are the gross receipts. Uh, See, for the for this year, uh, for the for, for the 10 months, we have a loss of about 22, 23 crores. So mm -hmm. you know, hopefully, you know, the rest of our subsidiary is all performing well, making good profits. So our subsidiary performance will now become significantly accretive, rather than get diluted by losses in the China subsidiary. Sure. Uh, can you run us through what really your current debt position is like at the JV and how will it change once the stick sale happens? Our net debt to equity will now be well below one, mm. somewhere in the on a consolidated basis, somewhere in the 0.8 region, and a standalone basis will be somewhere in the 0.5 region. Okay, Mr. Kalyani, we are at the start of 2014. What is the environment looking like for the rest of the year? You know, unfortunately, uh, right now, the our customers are just opening from today. So there has really been no change since they shut down two, two and a half weeks ago till now because everybody's been on leave, especially in Europe and the U.S. And hopefully in another week to 10 days, we should have a better picture on what's happening. But generally speaking, I think Europe is looking a little better than what was expected. And the U.S. is also looking, uh, you know, more stable and uh, the outlook for 2014 for the US is slightly higher than 2013.